Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video on the TARDIS zone. Before I start the video, please give the video a like if you like what I have to say. How did I get that? I say that every time and I get mixed up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so already. Right, so uh, an article uh, on Collider. Um, the journalist's name is Dave Trumbo or whatever the crap. Don't really give a crap. Right, we'll go. Jodie Whittaker is the face of a new generation. Wow. Right, now I've read this article twice because um I messed up the first uh first time I tried to do this video. So basically, right, so they it gives you a breakdown of every um this article gives you a breakdown of every um episode. Um also it tells you what features it has. So you have commentary tracks uh Closer looks, cast video diaries, all that. The usual stuff that you would kind of find um, in a Doctor Who series. But what you won't get in this one is Peter uh, Capaldi's uh, Twice Upon a Time. And you won't get Resolution either. Um, but when I when I seen this article, Jodie Whittaker is the face of a new generation. Well, clearly they don't know what's going to happen in 2020. Um, because this is just the typical bull that we've been getting off uh, the media. Um, Collider, Hollywood Reporter, Radio Times, all those other propaganda pieces, um, just they just keep throwing them out. But there was one part of this article that I found very interesting, because fans of series 11 will say that there is no political agenda there's no agenda in doctor who uh it's you are it's it's an excuse you are using because you are really sexist and bigots and all this other crap that they call us uh now the the word with the fans we get called troll but now the media now is using this now to describe fans and it doesn't matter what fandom you're from if you're a captain marvel uh hater you're a troll um, even though Brie Larson herself has come out with some uh, stupid statements which nobody should be coming out with to be honest which is I mean it just seems to be all hey 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 coming from that woman but not uh, enough about her this was the part of the article which I found interesting because here's the thing Jodie Whittaker supporters will say there's no agenda right so I'll read this article for you so it says, more than diversity for the sake, for diversity's sake, Doctor Who uses its cast of fully fleshed out characters to play up some social commentary. Now I'll read that again. More than diversity for diversity's sake, Doctor Who uses its cast of fully fleshed out characters to play up social commentaries. Right? The most obvious case is the third episode of the season, Rosa, in which the team travels back to Montgomery, Alabama in 1955 and end up playing a part in Rosa Parks' famous stand for civil rights. Now, here's the thing. If you want to do stuff like that in Doctor Who, that's fine. But that, 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 kind, of th that kind of social commentary shouldn't be forefront. Okay, it shouldn't be. The story should be. The soif, that's what Doctor Who is. Okay, if you want to add little things like that. For example, Genesis of the Daleks, right? Classic, great classic episode. Okay, you look at that episode, right? There's references to the Nazis in that, isn't there? That's how you do it, right? That's how you do. So, for people to still, to this day, compare Series 11 with Classic Who is an insult to Classic Who. Because... What Sirius 11 has done, it's put all this social justice, social bloody diverse, all this was crap, social commentary, forefront, right? And the story is secondary. And that's why Doctor Who's lost 45% of its audience. And that's why BBC have decided to make the decision they have made. Now, getting back to the videos that I've done, um, obviously, it's caused a bit of a stir. And I knew it would to a certain extent. I knew there'd be people that'd be happy about it. There'd be people that take it with a pinch of salt. And then there'd be people out there that would completely hate me. And that's happened. 
And you know what? One of the questions that was asked by one of these people was, well, why didn't the source go to um, a bigger YouTuber? Now, the reason why I think, now this is just a personal opinion, is because I've dealt with this source before. This source used to feed me information and like the rest of you, I was a bit hesitant to believe this person. But when the, when the information start coming out and BBC confirmed the stuff that I was being told by this source, then of course I'm going to believe this source when this source now tells me that Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall are leaving in 2020. Now, if you don't want to believe that, that's fine, okay? But, um, you know, there's no point in coming on the comments and calling me a liar because I'm not lying about what I've received. I've just put the information out there. Now, at the end of the day, as I said, if this turns out all to be one big piss take, then I will come on and I will do a video and I will apologise because that's the type of person that I am. Okay? So, like, let's all wait and see what happens, right, in the next couple of months or whatever it is, and then we'll see what kind of announcements come out. Okay? Now, if it proves that some of the stuff that I say does come true, well then, of course, obviously then, you know, I'm going to gain a bit more of attention because obviously, like, you know, I've gotten stuff, stuff right. If I get some stuff wrong, obviously I'm going to gain unwanted attention. Look, at the end of the day, right, someone said, oh, you only did this to get more subscribers and stuff like this. No, it didn't, right? If you watch anything that I've ever done, or if you followed me on Facebook from day one on the Tardis Zone, you will see the reason why um, I started all this up was, is because of my love for the show, Right? Now, as I said this in some videos, this is more than a TV show to me. To others, it's a TV show. They'll move on to the next thing, right? To me, I won't. Doctor Who has been the show. It's my number one show, okay? And it's been taken away from me because of all this social diversity crap that they want to do, all right? It should be in the background. Story should be forefront. Do you know what I mean? And I... I I hate the comparison. Don't compare Series 11 to any classic era. Because it's nothing like it. It's complete. It's not even Doctor Who. I mean, if you were to watch... If you were to watch a Tom Baker seri a season, right? And then put Jodie Whittaker's series on straight after. You mean to tell me that that would have the same feel as a classic who brings memories back of classic who? I don't think so. Don't think so. You're all on drugs. That's what I think anyway. Um, but again, it just shows you that the media, the media is reporting this. So they're saying that the cast were specifically, specifically picked to, you know, tick off boxes. That's a simple way of putting it. All right. But these fans of this show will say, no, 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 there's no agenda. Yes, there is an agenda. 45% of the audience disagree with you. 45%. Now, if that's any TV show, I said it in the last video and I'll say it again. If that's any other TV show, that show is considered a failure. Okay, that is a worry for anybody associated with that show. So, that's why BBC here said that. Now, as I said, the information that I receive from the source, I tend to believe it. Right? If you don't want to believe it, that's fine. Okay? But don't be going on and harassing people in the comments because they tend to agree with me or, you know, they're saying that they think they're, they're, they're hoping it's true. And then for someone to go on the comments then and attack them because you're not happy. Do you know what? Whittaker fans are better off accepting, accepting it now because it's going to be harder for you when the BBC do announce it. And they will announce it, right? I don't know when, you know what I mean? I haven't received that information. I haven't received any other information either.
that's the, the information that I sent out is the information that I've received. Also, a couple of people have asked me if I could ask the source anything on classic who episodes being found or anything like that. I will. I will. I will ask as many questions. Trust me. Do you think I put this out? To put this out simply? No. I mean, I received that information very early. And I held on to it. Because I wasn't sure whether to put it out or not. Because I knew there would be some people that would would disagree with me or call me a liar. Now, I'm not saying I'm a saint. We've all done things in our lives. Yes, we all have. But I'm telling you, information, I tend to believe it. So, if you want to believe it, that's good on you. If you don't want it, good on you too. That's up to you. But don't be going around harassing other people in me comments. Anyway, but I just like to thank everybody because I have to say it's blown up. Um, to be honest with you, um, me YouTube channel um has over eighty subscribers. Now I never thought I I I even said it. I never thought it even reached ten people, let alone the people that I have now. Um, I've got people following me on on Twitter as well, reporters and everything. It's it's crazy. Um, I heard the uh my videos are. What I've said is on change.org as well. A um, couple of uh, YouTubers done a video about, about the videos that I've put out. It's been crazy. Look, I knew there was going to be some sort of reaction anyway. I just didn't think it actually... You know what? I didn't actually think anybody would, you know, listen to me. I don't, really don't know why that source didn't go to a big YouTuber. But if I was to guess is... Uh, those big YouTubers are actually dealing with fans at the moment because of the videos that they're putting out. They're being attacked left, right and centre. Um, or maybe they just didn't want to touch this. Or maybe it, they wouldn't put the information out because obviously if it turns out to be false, then they'd be hated. The problem, the, the, the difference between me and them is, is that I don't, like I do care about the YouTube channel and stuff. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I believe if you're given information, you should never hold it. You should give it out there, no matter if people hate it. You know what I mean? And I know people don't like what I've said in, in the last two videos. I've made it uh, very clear in the comments. But as I said, don't be going and harassing other people in the comments. If you want to come after me, fine, I can take it. That's why I think this you this this source gave me the information because they know I don't care and I don't, I genuinely don't care, I put the information out and I thought Doctor Who fans have a right to know so for anybody that doesn't know just to recap one last time 2020, Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker will step down um, in 2019 this Christmas, they're trying to get Chris Chibnall to do a Christmas special at the moment he has been resisting uh, those attempts to do a Christmas special but they are pretty confident that they'll get them to do the Christmas special in 2019 that will kick it all off then we'll have the series then obviously um, now it has, this is not from the source but it has been reported by some newspapers that Doctor Who could return February and March so it would actually make sense if it's that close away it would make sense to have the Christmas special because it'd be very close then to February or March. So that's why I think it might, as I said, he's, refu he's, he's, he's resisting, but they, they reckon he'll come around. But that's why I'm saying I think it'll be a Christmas special because Christmas special and then the series starts back to either February or March, then it makes sense. Now, Jodie Whittaker will regenerate Christmas 2020 and the Doctor apparently will go back to her traditional male role. Um, the BBC have also demanded, and this was another thing that this uh, person in the comments was giving about, as if the BBC could demand this, that and the other because they're in pro. Uh, what you right, you've seen it. You see movies being rewritten all the time. You hear about scripts being re rewritten all the time. So what makes you think that they can't rewrite a Doctor Who script? Come on. Cop on. Seriously. In all fairness, they can. And if they have demanded what my sources tell me, then they, Chris Chibnall will have to do it. You know what I mean? They pay him. 
You know what I mean? They're his employers. If they're not happy with the product that he's produced, they have every right to say whatever they want. So for people to say, well, they can't change anything. And by the way, Serious 11 was originally written for a male in mind, a male role in mind, okay? Uh, the writers confirmed this, and also Chris Chibnall confirmed this. So they tweaked the scripts in Serious 11. So to say that they can't, that's another thing as well, which is ridiculous. You're just coming onto the comments because you're just trying to discredit me. At the end of the day, I have no reason to lie. And anybody that knows me knows I have no reason to lie. Why would I make this up? There's no reason I'm not going to gain anything from it. Yeah, I might have subscribers now, gain subscribers now, but in the long run, in the long run, like, if this all turned out to be, as I said, one big sick joke, which I don't believe for one second it is, because the source, I believe, myself, 100%. So that's just me, as I said, take it with a pinch of salt if you want it yourself. But look, I'm not going to address that person anymore in the comments. Um, to be quite honest, you can say whatever you want. Um, I just put it out there anyway. It's up to people whether they believe me or not. Uh, the TARDIS also apparently will get a, a, a tidy up. Not a total redesign, but a tidy up. And again, that does make sense because people were complaining about the TARDIS or lack of let's be honest right and all this now some of this has actually started coming out in the press as well so if anybody doubts what i'm saying anyway they've already talked about classic uh villains coming back right and i think uh, other newspapers are pick, picked up about saturday as well so i mean look you could call me a lawyer some of the stuff is already coming out right and I'll, before long we'll know anyway whether my source was telling the truth or not the end of the day, if it turns out that a uh, source isn't telling the truth, I, I, uh, I will come out and I will apologise to everybody, right? But of course, if the source is right, well then I'll expect an apology from those people, that which I won't get one anyway. But that's what I expect. If you was expecting an apology, I'll give you, and yeah, I expect the same, in return, right? But yeah, this, this article, Face of a New Generation, then I read it. There's nothing in it that suggests why he would say that. He just gives a breakdown of every episode. And basically, this guy is just like, you know, it's it's the same propaganda from Radio Times, New York Reporter, and all these other um, magazines. The media say one thing, the critics say one thing, and the fans say another. A 45% drop in the audience score proves it all anyway listen folks so i'm gonna go um i will i will talk to you again soon i will have another video up maybe in the next couple of days just just in case you know in the meantime i get any more information i'll let you know i will ask um about um some missing classic episodes because i know some of you are very keen on that so i'll ask the source of course um but as I said, you know, um, you could take it whatever which way you want to take that information anyway. Um, you know, I just thought it'd be wrong to hold back the information. That's just the way I am anyway. Right, so good night, folks. Have a good one. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon.